have always possessed unusually heightened senses. Ew. Georgie, put your shoes back on! You can't smell this. Yes, I can! I also had extraordinary hearing. During dinner, I could tune out the cacophony of chewing, slurping, chewing, cutlery scraping against plates, chewing, and my father's heavy breathing as he wrestled with a ketchup bottle. But tonight, there was one sound I couldn't tune out. Why aren't you eating, Sheldon? How can I with that horrible noise? What noise? That irritating high-pitched buzz. I don't hear nothing. Me neither. How can you not? Wait, I think I hear it. You do? Yeah, it's coming out of your face. Yes, I hear a little hum. Free traders make noise, Shelton. This is new. It's never made this sound before. We should call a repairman. I'm not spending money on a fridge that's working. Then think of it as spending money on my mental stability. Ignore it, Shelton. Ignoring things that irritate me isn't my strong suit. Obsessively fixating on them, now that's what gets me out of bed in the morning. Hi, Mom. What did you do? Good news. I found out what part was making that noise. You have to put this back together. Now we're going to the bad news. What made you think you could fix this? I'm smart. And I had a book. Do you still think you're smart? Yes. Dad, I'm pleased to tell you I've got a job to pay back my debt. Is that so? I'm going to be a paper boy. Well, that's great. <laughs> I'm proud of you. How do you plan on delivering these papers? Bicycle. You don't know how to ride a bicycle. There's nothing I can't learn. A week ago, I didn't know how to take apart a refrigerator. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Fun fact. The larger Sunday paper required a second bundle. Oh, dear. I'm exhausted. Everything hurts. I get up in the morning to do this job I don't even like and I'm doing it just for the money, and it's not even a lot of money. I keep trying harder and harder, and it doesn't even make a difference. So if you're going to yell at me or punish me, let's just get it over with. I'm not gonna punish you. Why not? I deserve it. Let me tell you about my day. I got yelled at by the principal for benching a linebacker who's flunking English. Then I got yelled at even more by the kid's parents. Then I had to break up a fight in the locker room and got elbowed in the neck. That's a rough day. <laughs> that was all before 10 a.m. So I get what you're going through. But you'll notice I didn't come home and take it out on you. No, you didn't. I want you to get back in there, apologize to everyone, and finish your dinner. Yes, sir. My father's wisdom touched me deeply, which is why to this day, no matter what I'm going through, I am never irritating or abusive to any of my friends or loved ones. Ask them, they'll tell you. <laughs>